Welcome to my channel, Live in Linux. You might be wondering why I want to report something about Windows 11. Well, Windows already comes with a subsystem for Linux, and they also announced a subsystem for Android. And I bought this Samsung Galaxy Book Go as a preparation for primarily subsystem for Android, but I also wanted to test the subsystem for Linux. And one other thing is that I installed Windows 10 with a local account, and Microsoft is really pushing you to register with Microsoft. But I refuse to do that because, in my opinion, they sold me the product and there is no need for them to know a lot of stuff about me. And of course, you can argue that by using Windows, there's probably a lot of telemetry going on in the background. But I want to minimize the data that goes to Microsoft. It is possible to install Windows 11 already on the Samsung Galaxy Book Go, as you can see here. This is the Snapdragon 7C Gen 2 chip. And we have the Windows 64-bit. It's Windows 11 Home. And the OS build is... 22,000.282. Now, when you go to Windows Update, and probably you don't get the option to upgrade to Windows 11 at the moment. So, that's something you have to do manually. One way to do that is to go to this website uupdump.net and I think you have to get at least the beta channel or the dev channel then click on ARM64 and here you can download the script to download the Windows 11 inside a preview so this website doesn't host Windows 11. What you download is a couple of scripts that will download the files from Microsoft, from the official source, compile an ISO image, and you can mount the ISO image and install Windows 11 from there. This is a very lengthy process and when you're downloading and compiling the ISO image, it's better to disable the fear scanner because it can really lock up the whole process, or at least it did on my machine. And it is a very lengthy process. And also the upgrade to Windows 11 also takes quite some time. And you probably need to spend a couple of hours. Coming back to the Windows subsystem for Linux, it's actually, with Windows 11, really easy to install. So as it says here, you have to find the command line, the shell, and then all you need to do is type WSL space dash dash install and when you want to see what options you have you can type this command and just to show you you can look for CMD and then you need to run it as administrator now I already did this and 
at first it looked like as if everything was installed well everything was probably installed so when you are on arm you have the options for ubuntu several versions but when you are on intel or amd there are options for more flavors and when everything is installed you need to reboot and that's when the problem happened the machine no longer boots you can see the Samsung Galaxy logo and after that nothing seems to happen and one way to get out of there is to keep the power button pressed for like 10 seconds then the machine will switch off press the power button again and keep pressing F8 so you get into a boot menu where you have the option to boot again in safe mode and when you boot in safe mode then you have or at least it notices that it can no longer boot and it will revert the install of Windows subsystem for Linux so you can argue that yes this is a beta so don't be surprised some stuff doesn't work and also that the ARM version of Windows is of course not as mature as the x86 the Intel or AMD version but on the other hand I was expecting that well I mean like something can fail but it should not lock up your computer so unfortunately I cannot test Windows subsystem for Linux on Windows 11 for ARM and I also was looking at the subsystem for Android and at the moment they only released it in the US and I think you need to sign up for the insider program so that's something I'm not going to do and they also said you need at least 8 gigabytes of memory and hopefully in the future they can lower it to four gigabytes because this machine only has four gigabytes of memory and as far as i know there is no way to upgrade the memory so if anyone was able to install windows subsystem for linux on windows 11 on the Galaxy Book Go I would love to hear from you because of course as a Linux user I would like to test with it but at the moment it locks up my machine so that's all for today hopefully somewhere in the future this will get fixed and if you want to know how to download Windows 11 from the UUP dump website then let me know in the comments and I can make a video about that but this is all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video